revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played here, including you. It's the Waynes. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time to continue to play Batman. Yeah, episode I one. We finished like episode to, one, yeah. of course. And now we playing episode two. Upsetting. And episode one, it, it was uh, so amazing. See this. And I hope you like it. And it's time to continue playing I know episode two. Here for so I hope Bruce. you like it. And let's do this. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's and also troubling family. Yes. People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it. Calm from down, you. man. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money you, you. taints you. you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them you, knowing. You never told me. They were working me. with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his idea. <clears throat> I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a lowlife thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yes, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. 
Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You I, always I said got the simple correct body. answers. In 20 years, you've never wavered you from never that story. Up. I can recall I every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we oh, block like out things we don't man. want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Now, let's see here. There's Joker. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail. Just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Is he here? thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. What is this? Wait. Maybe something here. I miss it. Let's see if I was right. Come on, a little faster. Okay, let's see there. Come on, walk faster. I love that movie. Saw it countless times in the theater. <laughs> How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. Then the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? He shot him. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! Nothing personal, just business. He told me you had it coming. You... you don't have to do this. God. Oh, that was so harsh. Assassinated. 
And Carmine Falcone knows why. Let's do this. GCBD. 8.56 AM. <clears throat> but getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Appreciate. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. Trust me, you don't want to know. No, no I do. That's why I'm asking. I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answers to. I'm sorry, Arby. It's better this way. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules <coughs> whenever you need it. Uh, he's not Harvey's not in my pocket, Lieutenant. He always does what he thinks is right. Well, it's lucky your interests align. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sergeant. Whoa. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. <coughs> All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Okay, Falcone. Let's do this. Welcome, guys, to episode 2 of Batman The Telltale Series. You, Falcone. You son of a bitch. Bruce Wayne? Yes. And we got some business. You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out we of here in a week. We need to talk. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Dude. Going back decades. Did you have something to do with his death? Ah, so that's what this is really about. Eh? <laughs> the pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought nope. you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. Maybe I should have spelled like it you. out. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <coughs> Die, God die. Damn yeah, this pain. Die. Can't think you through it. 
morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and <coughs> help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Hurt him. I cannot here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Of course, you'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in you? Give me the answer. I need you alive, but only until I have answers. Apple didn't fall far, did it? You got that Wayne seed. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. But if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still, made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. I never asked for any of it. And yet, the money spends, doesn't it? He made you rich, but you still had him killed. What, you really think I ordered the hit? <coughs> sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. <clears throat> Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents look that way. Whoa. They're waiting for you in hell! Ian Chef, come on! Matoya! Put the weapon down! The bastard had to die! Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets Oh my god, out. she killed him! Go! Go! No, no answers now. Bitch. I think that man in deep shit. He has a hand of it. I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. Something like I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Okay. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <coughs> uh... Tell me if she says anything. Don't I have to know why she did this. I will make her talk. <sighs> Bitch. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. What's wrong with this skin? Fresh injection site. Her skin like... Uh, uh, that doesn't look like blood. Hmm. What's your mouth? 
her veins still visible beneath her skin. There's something wrong. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. <coughs> of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Okay, Alfred. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why... Did I you see have, anyone? They were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I'm so I'm sorry. Down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, hey, don't worry about that now. Montoya remembers being drugged. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. <coughs> That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's sorry get Bruce out. Sorry keeping coffee. I'm so sick. I'm sorry. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I, I need to finish this game. Finals. I love this game. Bruce. I need to finish. Hey! The beautiful form. What are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown. I'm I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Sorry, I don't have Word time. Where is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held? Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. I have no comment at this time. Don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit at the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Let me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Finally, we are we're in the Either cave. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, <sighs> I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. 
It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would yeah, have balanced each other out. Scratches, yeah, the, the scratch from reference points on the two compounds. Cat woman, sorry. Still in his face. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Uh, I'm always getting okay. This refining drug is like a weapon. It only took a small <coughs> injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Okay. Let's see the minute the docks were doused with the base chemicals, the reaction was messy. They were out of control. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but dragging others to fight them for you... They can make an army. <sighs> Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. It's time for the suit. No, oh no. Hmm. Select and drone to search for. Oh, come on! I need to read that. Okay, let's see that one. Nope. Maybe here? Wait. I found it. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! <coughs> okay, let's see here. Too far. Wait. Yes. Bring me her head. And the last one. Hey, maybe in there. I found no, all don't. of it. Right. Okay, let's see here. The Skyline Club. <coughs> you didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. But it's Batman. time he met the Batman. Skyline Club. Four, four, five, uh, fifty-seven. Sorry. <laughs> e. Come on, come on! I know there's got to be more around here. The man probably had millions in his sock drawer. <laughs> If Falcone finds out I helped you, he'll kill me! Your boss won't be doing much of anything! Ever again. Let's go. 
Ah, yes. You lot, come check out this office. Where is I don't know! Please! Oh, Woohoo! You can help me. Hi there, my friends. Let him go. Batman! It's about time! You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said, I said let, let him, him go. go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, really? now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know from personal experience. Falcone had it coming, but that doesn't mean you're off the hook. There we go. That wasn't so hard to admit, was it? Must be a relief oh, to get man, that stick in your ass every now and then. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna <coughs> let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing, I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same <coughs> kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. Take this! Oh my god, so strong! Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on, Batman! Take this! What? Gonna have to try harder than this! Whoa! Come in! Take you down. Hey, where is it? Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. You have to save her. Hey, nice. So nice. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Hello. I don't want any troubles. Hey, wait. Let's ask this, this one. Let's ask him. Hello, buddy. You lost? Because I don't have time for tours. Why like be you like that? Wrong bar. Looking for some. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. Uh, you'd be surprised. 
Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Look, back off. Now. <laughs> Jesus, man. No need to get all dramatical. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. Seems more like he's trying to start a fight. But... Whatever. <laughs> like you can't do something. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. You're seriously in That's danger. why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. Nope. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. <coughs> the penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. Nope. You're wrong. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? Oswald wanted Falcone out of the picture. Looks like he succeeded. So what? He wants to take his place? Maybe. For starters. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. You and I... Oh no. <coughs> Problems. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Oh, really? Whoa. Yeah, really. Can do this. Take this, man. Woo okay, no, no. Yes. Good work. Good team. Let's work this. Okay. You want... Okay. Whoa! Suplex! Oh, I thought suplex. Okay. Yes! I didn't mess up. Goodbye. Not done yet. They keep going back. Take this! 
Take this. Whoa. Woo! Come on, man. Give up. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Whoa! That was something. Okay, you take this one, and you take this one, and you take this one, and you take this one. That's for finish, okay? Had a deal. Good teamwork. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. <laughs> I think it's a compliment. Come on, this way. Okay, let's go. Quick, check the alleyway. <coughs> Negative, let's check the other side. Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. What? Uh, that's it. Let's get out of here. I knew it. Oh my god. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. We yeah, will see you stay out of trouble. Just stay out of trouble. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm, I'm so sensitive. The contents of a smartphone in the back computer. Oh Check my to god! See if there's yeah. anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? It looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice, People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Okay. Who will we choose? Visit Maria Bruce? Visit Maria Batman? Hmm. Okay, I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna wait to another episode, I guess. Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Now we'll see you again in the next episode. Stay awesome and peace out. Falcone, take this in your back, man. Oh my God. Who is watching?